Who is the savior you are waiting for? All the religions that we have today teach about the coming of a savior that will fix all the problems in the whole world. For Buddhists, they are waiting for Buddha Maitreya, the fifth and final Buddha. And when he comes, he will teach people how to become a Buddha like himself. During those times, people will be filled with love, and their lifespan will supposedly extend up to 80,000 years. For New Agers, they are waiting for Lord Sananda, one of their ascended masters who will descend on Earth in a spaceship. For them, this Sananda is actually the Jesus that we know. And when he comes, he will teach people how to achieve Christ consciousness and how they can become as gods themselves. For Hindus, they are waiting for Kalki Avatar, the tenth and final incarnation of their god Vishnu. On his return, he will destroy all evil and rule over the world for a thousand years. After this, he will return to heaven in his four-handed form. As for Muslims, they are waiting for two, the Islamic Jesus, who they call Isa, and the Al-Mahdi, or the twelfth and final Imam. Isa will return to earth to correct Christians that he is not God but only a human and prophet of Allah, because Allah is just one, and he is highly exalted, that he should have a son. He will also explain that he did not really actually die on the cross, but just made it look like he did by the power of Allah so that he can be with Allah in heaven. Because of this clarification, many Christians will convert to Islam. But for those who refuse to convert, they will be killed by the Imam al-Mahdi to achieve world peace. The al-Mahdi will live for seven to eight years and will die of natural causes after he makes the Islamic nations blessed. Isa, on the other hand, will live for another 40 years and also die due to natural causes after he marries and has children. As for the Dajjal, the Islamic counterpart of the Antichrist, he will pretend to be the Messiah and will deceive the whole world by his deceitful miracles. The sign that he is the Dajjal is when one of his eyes are blind. He will also declare himself as God and will kill whoever won't worship him, but this evil act won't last long because he will be killed by Isa and the Almighty. Anyway, let's proceed with the beliefs of the Jews. Until now, the Jews are still waiting for the coming of their Mashiach. For them, their Mashiach is a king or a political leader who will rebuild the third temple on the Temple Mount, where the Dome of the Rock currently is. Under the leadership of their Mashiach, Israel will be prosperous and peaceful, and all the nations will know that Judaism is the true religion. So, a lot of people are waiting for the appearance of this Mashiach, because for some Muslims, the Mashiach is the Dajjal, and for some Christians, the Mashiach is the Antichrist. Anyway, let's just wait and see who the Antichrist really is, whether he is the Al-Mahdi, the Mashiach, the Buddha, Maitreya, or the Kalki Avatar, or the Sananda. But as for me, the sure sign of who the Antichrist really is, is who will implement the mark of the beast. When you don't have it in your right hand or forehead, you won't be able to buy or sell. With the ongoing war happening today in Israel, it looks like the elites are setting the stage for the appearance of a false savior who will bring peace and safety to the world. So, let's consider the possibility that one day a beautiful creature will suddenly appear from heaven and will introduce himself as Sananda or Buddha Maitreya, or Kalki Avatar, or Isa, or Imam al-Mahdi. For sure, this creature is Satan, because we know that before the end comes, Satan will be loosed from his prison and shall deceive the, all the nations. Since Satan can pretend to be an angel of light, what if he imitates the face of Jesus that everyone knows? If that happens, he may lead many Catholics and Christians to worship him. And because of this, I remembered that Albert Pike said in his letter, After World War III, many Christians will be disillusioned from Christianity and will accept the doctrine of Lucifer, which shall finally be brought out in public. This will destroy both Christianity and atheism at the same time. Because when atheists see a godlike being, they will finally believe in God. And because of many unfulfilled prophecies, like the pre-tribulation rapture, many Christians will turn away from the faith. So, maybe that is the reason why the Illuminati have been conditioning us ever since about aliens, outer space, superheroes, and false end-time prophecies so that it will strengthen the conviction of those who believe in these false religions that they are right in their beliefs. My brothers and sisters, in order for us not to be deceived by this, we must know every detail about the return of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
Bear in mind that his return will be seen by all people, no matter where they are in the world and not just on the TV or the internet. Nowadays it's so easy to fake videos like these. If someone says that he is in the desert, don't believe it, and most certainly if someone says that he's in China, because his return will not be in secret and he doesn't need to take on a human body once again because he already died for our sins and was resurrected in his glorified ascended form. Another thing, when our Lord Jesus Christ returns, countless angels will be with him, accompanying him, and they will rapture the elect. The sky shall also open like a scroll, and the sun and the moon shall be darkened, and the stars will fall out of their places down to earth. So, if someone introduces himself as Jesus, but it's not accompanied by these signs, then he is definitely not the real Jesus. Especially if his goal is to establish world peace. Because our Lord Jesus Christ will not return to fix the world, but rather to destroy it, together with all the wicked. Because his promised paradise is not on this earth, but on the new heavens and new earth, where he will reign forever, not just for a thousand years. I have a separate video about the millennial reign, so please check my old posts. In the new heaven and earth, there shall be no night there. There shall no longer be a need for sun or the moon, because the glory of God and of the Lamb shall be the light thereof. And there shall be no more death, sorrow, crying, nor suffering, for all these things will have passed away at that point. Actually, from being an atheist who finally came to know God, I studied all the religions first before I decided to become a Christian. And only in Christianity did I feel that there really is a God who actually loves me, because he himself died for me just to save me from hell, which Allah, Buddha, Vishnu, or Sananda would never do for me. That's it for now. Thank you for watching and may God bless you.